In this episode, we delve into three captivating tales. First, we'll unravel what might be the worst massacre in history, requested by the daughter of Genghis Khan. Then, we explore one of Genghis Khan's most cunning military tactics. And finally, we confront one of the most painful episodes in Genghis Khan's life. Three fascinating stories in one video. The massacre in Nishapur, a city in Iran, is one of the worst slaughters in history. Nishapur was a bustling cultural center. Located along the Silk Road, the city was a major trade center for centuries, and it was on Genghis Khan's list. When Genghis Khan was invading and conquering the city, an arrow was shot from within the city walls of Nishapur. That arrow found its mark and hit Genghis Khan's favorite son-in-law, Takachur, ending him. Genghis Khan couldn't let that go. To him, this loss demanded revenge. You see, regular civilians were often spared by Genghis Khan, but this time, it was different. Genghis Khan didn't care about sparing any of the civilians in Nashapur. So he summoned his widowed daughter that was pregnant with Tukachar's kid and let her pick whatever revenge she wanted on the captured city. The widow's response was nothing short of chilling. The heartbroken widow ordered every last person in Nashapur to be executed. Spare no one, not women, children, or infants. She didn't want a single soul left from that city, so she demanded the troops to behead all the citizens of the city and pile their heads in three separate pyramids. One for men, one for women, and another for children. Now this was a city that had a population of over 1.7 million people at the time, and she slaughtered all of them. But it doesn't stop there because the widow was still unsatisfied, so she ordered that the cats, dogs, and any other animal from the city be destroyed as well. The city was left lifeless. Next, let's talk about one of the most cunning military tactics ever. Genghis Khan and his troops were facing issues when trying to conquer the walled city of Volahai in China. The Mongols would try to get over the walled city with scaling ladders but failed as they were met with heavy resistance that resulted in many casualties. But Genghis Khan with a strategic mind devised a clever plan that would not only spare his warriors unnecessary loss but also help him take over this walled city. Genghis Khan sent a message that confused the city's generals proposing a weird bargain. Genghis Khan promised that he would end his his attempts to take over the city in exchange for a gift of 1,000 cats and 1,000 birds. The generals and the citizens were baffled by the bizarre request. They agreed to the unusual terms, but little did they know that this seemingly simple request hit a sinister intent. When Genghis Khan received the animals, he ordered the army of destruction to add a small cotton ball dipped in oil to the tail of each animal. The Mongols then set the cotton on fire and then released the animals. The animals panicked and raced back towards their nest inside the city, igniting hundreds of small fires throughout the city. As the flames spread and merged, the once walled city became a raging inferno. While the city's defenders scrambled to extinguish the fires that now consumed their city, Genghis Khan's warriors seized the opportunity and stormed the city, slaughtering its inhabitants. In the face of this diabolical strategy, Volahai fell to the Mongols, proving Genghis Khan to be an artist of war. Next, let's talk about one of the most painful episodes for Genghis Khan, one that cut deep straight into the heart of the conqueror. The sad episode unfolded during a battle in the Valley of Bamiyan, located in Afghanistan. An arrow was shot and found its mark, striking and ending Mutagen, Genghis Khan's favorite grandson. The news of Mutagen's end reached Genghis Khan before it reached his father, Jagatai, and Genghis Khan was devastated. Genghis Khan summoned Jagatai to deliver the terrible news about his grandson, but first, Genghis Khan commanded his son Jagatai not to weep or mourn. Now this wasn't a macho move by Genghis Khan. After all, Genghis Khan had cried in public many times, but when Genghis Khan faced the of a loved one, he had a different response. Genghis Khan refused to allow himself or his sons to show their pain through tears, no way. Instead, Genghis Khan would channel the pain inside onto the battlefield, transforming the profound sorrow into fierce, unrelenting fury that unleashed upon the people of Afghanistan. In a chilling decree, Genghis Khan, driven by rage, ordered the complete annihilation of every single living being. Men, women, children, and even livestock were executed. Not a single soul was spared from this decree. 